Well, here's the old Nadir spinner. I might as well show you right off the bat, in case you haven't seen my first video, my first video of this fan. This is the original blades it used. That sticker on there says Ding Liang. I've heard that name amongst ceiling fans throughout the YouTube and ceiling fan sites that I've seen. These blades are off uh, my can arm tradition. I used to use it as a 42 inch but then realized that I'm probably going to burn the motor out so sawed it down to 36 inch. Since the blade was a little wider than the original blade, the original blade fit right in this bracket here. So I had to uh, saw it like that. Just put a little lip there. It's nice now with these wider blades. It seems more like a vintage fan now. These blades were relatively skinny, like very skinny for a uh, 80s 30 well any size fan i just really dislike these blades i'll post a clip of it in the end from the first video i took of this fan with those blades still on it not the original canopy or down rod the original down rod was a little longer like the fan would have been down to about here the sticker was always to the side like that i'm wondering if it wasn't just put on like that this side is good really yellowed like I'm willing to bet those stickers used to be the same white as the fan as you can see that ring is not just a sticker it's a actual piece of plastic or something enough babbling let's see it run here's high Yeah, and the bearings make a bit of sound. Not much though. I think it's mainly from me over oiling them. It kind of uh, made them get a little louder. This thing is moving. And it moves a pretty good amount of air. There's definitely vintage 36 inch ceiling fans that would blow more air, but it's pretty decent. It's more than a new fan, anyways. It's a little faster than new 36 inch fan spin, but there's definitely faster vintage fans out there. Here's medium. Kind of like how this fan looks without a light. It kind of has a nice uh, chunky switch housing and it, it just looks nice. Yeah, this fan may be plain, no stencil or anything, but I kind of like it, you know? I didn't think much of it when I first bought it for a dollar. I just really like this fan now with these blades. It just really made the fan really awesome. <laughs> I just didn't like it with those ugly round blades. And here's low. There's 
An interesting thing that I don't see on a whole lot of fans is how the switch cap mounts onto the fan like uh, instead of opening a little cap at the bottom here to access the switches and whatnot you just loosen three screws twist it a little and then lower it and then it'll just be hanging there on its wires and stuff there, see what I mean And here's your verse. Here's medium. And here's high. And here's off. This fan doesn't have too painfully long of a spin down time, so this won't be too bad. At least from what I remember. This fan doesn't make any kind of startup noise at all, I don't believe. And there she sits. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. This is a little 1988 Nader spinner, I guess. I don't know.
the, well, it's called, but, and I used to have barrettes on them, but, fell off. Huh, they'll put some new ones on someday. 